Hey folks, Dr. Jeff Williams with Creekstone Integrated Care right here in Amarillo, Texas. Coming to you once again with some healthcare honesty and research back truth. When we're bringing the research, we're bringing the truth. I reiterate that because a lot of what we get from a very small segment of the medical community consists of ideas and hearsay, not necessarily truth and research. So that's the purpose of the video. I wish I could tell you how many folks we get through our doors here at Creekstone that are suffering from SI or sacroiliac pain. Sacroiliac pain is definitely something that will affect your quality of life and will cause a sincere loss of enjoyment in your life if you let it linger around for a while. An issue that becomes chronic is an issue that is harder to address and fully resolve. Chronic is generally considered to be a condition lasting longer than three months in duration. It's okay to wait on a condition to resolve on its own. A lot of complaints usually do resolve on their own. However, we don't have an unlimited time to wait for it to resolve. At some point, it will become chronic and a molehill turns into a mountain at that point. When we're talking about a musculoskeletal complaint, why not look at chiropractic as an option? I'd argue that it should hands down be the first option, but why not at least in the top, uh, the top five? Here's the fact. Pain from a mechanical condition will respond better and faster to a mechanical treatment rather than a chemical treatment. Pain can change a person, but chiropractic can change pain, so it makes sense to go to the chiropractor for biomechanical musculoskeletal pain, doesn't it? Okay, on to the research for this week. Now here's why they did it. This study was all about chiropractic manipulation. Specifically, the authors wanted to know which treatment was more effective for sacroiliac syndrome. Was the more effective treatment lumbar manipulation or was it uh, sacroiliac joint manipulation? And here's how they did it. The study included 32 women diagnosed with SI dysfunction. The subjects were randomized evenly into two different groups. The treatment protocol for one group consisted of chiropractic adjustment to the involved SI joint. The second group's treatment protocol consisted of chiropractic adjustment to the low back. Outcome assessment measurements were made through the use of the Visual Analog Scale and the Oswestry Disability Index questionnaire. The outcome assessment measurements were taken at the baseline mark, at the 48 hours post-treatment mark, and at the one month post-treatment point. Here's what they found. The SI manipulation alone group showed statistically significant improvements at all points of the outcome assessment measurement. Likewise, the SI manipulation and lumbar manipulation group showed a significant improvement at all points of the outcome assessment measurements. So let's wrap it up and try to make sense. A single session of SI and lumbar manipulation was more effective for improving functional disability than SI manipulation alone in patients with SI syndromes. Spinal high velocity, low amplitude manipulation may be a beneficial addi addition to treatment for patients with SI syndrome. So just another reason to call a chiropractor today. Research and clinical experience shows that in about 80 to 90 percent of headaches, neck, and back pain, in comparison to the traditional medical model, patients get good or excellent results with chiropractic. Chiropractic care is safe. It's more cost effective. It decreases your chances of having surgery and it reduces your chances of being disabled as the result of a musculoskeletal condition. We do this conservatively and we do it non-surgically. In addition, we can do it with minimal time requirements and minimal hassles on the part of you, the patient. And if the patient develops a preventative mindset going forward from the initial recovery, we can likely keep it that way while raising the general overall level of health. Please feel free to leave a comment. Tell me your thoughts. I'd love to hear what you think. And share this video. We can't make a difference without your help. Be sure to find us on social media sites like Facebook, Twitter, Google+. Pinterest, LinkedIn, Snapchat, and Instagram. Also, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel at the link in the description. At the very least, take the time to give us a thumbs up right below the video. A gesture that fast and simple really does allow us to get in front of more and more folks with some information we feel can help this profession and our patients over time. Thanks so much for watching and for your help. Until next time, God bless.